welcome to my 11 week baby update, bump date, whatever. So this week, baby is the size of a poker chip. It's also the size of a fig, which I don't really know what figs are, so poker chip is a lot easier to picture. The baby is now practicing breathing by breathing and, and swallowing amniotic fluid. Um, the kidneys are going to start working and it's going to start creating um, urine, pee or whatever that it's going to start excreting and then it will um, inhale or like swallow that and then just keep going over and over so it like practices those body functions. The face is forming more this week so the eyes are now in place and the ears are starting to form so if you were to look at baby now it actually looks like a baby. Um, so yeah that's what's going on with baby this week. With me I am still nauseous unfortunately. My nausea is the same as it's been the past couple weeks. Um, I'm fine in the morning, I'm fine in early afternoon, but then as soon as like 3 o'clock on, I'm nauseous the rest of the day. Um, I get really hungry in the mornings, I always want breakfast, and then I want lunch at like 10.30, but dinner comes around and I don't want anything, nothing sounds good because I'm just so nauseous. I have been eating um, lemon heads to help with that, and it does seem to help, although it only seems to help like while I'm sucking on them. As soon as like I stop eating them, then... Um, the nausea seems to come back. I'm still taking B6 and Unisom. I think it is helping because it's not like I feel like I want to puke all the time. It's just like I don't feel well. Um, but supposedly, like I'm 11 weeks now, supposedly the nausea should stop or start to taper off starting next week or the week after. So I am at the end, hopefully. Um, I know some people have nausea that goes the whole pregnancy, but hopefully with me, it will start to taper off here soon. The baby's placenta is starting to take over a lot of the role, and so I shouldn't be getting hit with all these hormones as much anymore, hopefully. I'm still peeing a ton. There are some nights where I have to get up in the middle of the night, and then there's other nights where I'll just sleep through the night. I think it just kind of depends on how much I've drank the night before. Um, I'm still really thirsty all the time, and I'm still having trouble quenching my thirst. It's like nothing I drink is good enough. I drink lemonade, that's supposed to help with nausea too, and it's fine, but I'm still thirsty. Um, I drink, most mostly I drink water with a little bit of flavoring in it, but it's like that doesn't do it for me. Popsicles have still been helping me, so I do have a popsicle a day, and that seems to help. It's like cool flavor. <laughs> that seems to help. I don't really have any more cravings or anything like that. I have been more hungry, like I've been eating a lot. Um, I notice like at night, even though I'm nauseous, like I'm constantly wanting to eat something. And like even if I eat dinner at like 5 or 6, then like a couple hours later, like I'm hungry again. Like I need another snack before I go to bed. So that's been tough trying to figure out like what I want to eat. The other day I had popcorn. Um, I've tried like plain crackers, but it's so funny because like in the beginning of this pregnancy when I was really nauseous Like I just wanted bland food like I didn't want anything with flavor now I feel like I want foods with a lot of flavor. It's just like so crazy. I Don't know what I want. I'm still dealing with a ton of acne um, As soon as acne goes away in one spot it comes up again in another spot I have a spot here on my neck and then tons of spots on my face. So that's been annoying to deal with, but it's better than, you know, other things I could be dealing with. I haven't had heartburn at all, um, but I didn't get it toward, till towards the end with Grayson, so um, I'll just see when I when that one hits. I know it's coming. I get very tired at night. As soon as like 10 o'clock hits, like I'm exhausted and I just want to go straight to bed. I've still been having crazy dreams. Um, I have a dream every other night, I'd say, and they're pretty vivid. I haven't had any scary ones in a while, so that's been nice, but I do have, like, these crazy vivid dreams. This week, as, like, the day I turned 11 weeks, it's, I, like, look down and I swear, like, it looked like my belly popped. Like, I now have, like, a noticeable bump. It's larger in the evenings and then it kind of goes away in the mornings, but, like, I can definitely tell that there is a bump there, like I feel it, it's getting bigger. Um, if any old person were to look at me, they would just think that I like ate a lot of food, but 
since I know I'm pregnant, like, I can tell, like, I definitely am starting to have a bump, which is exciting. It's kind of scary because I really don't have any maternity clothes for a summer, but I'm still fitting in all my regular clothes, so I haven't had to, like, change anything yet. My breasts have been getting bigger. I can tell um, that they are bigger and they are still tender. I've been still dealing with a lot of gas. Um, I have a lot of indigestion. Um, and so it's usually in the evening when it hits the worst, um, a lot of gas. <laughs> I've also been having like problems with like constipation here and there, like, I don't know, it's just been something I've been dealing with and I don't remember having that problem with Gra when I was pregnant with Grayson. This week we told Anthony's family that we are pregnant. And so uh, we had them come over to our house. I unfortunately was out of town at the time, so Anthony told them on his own. We had Grayson in his shirt, and Anthony said it took his parents like two hours to notice the shirt, which I'm not surprised just knowing who they are. And um, But he said when they saw it, they were very excited. Anthony's parents are reserved like he is, and so they don't really show emotions very much. Um, which is fine, like, everybody's different, and so he's like, yeah, they, I mean, they were excited, but, you know, they didn't really show it that much, so they're looking forward to it, they're excited about it, and so after we told them, we were finally able to announce on social media, so I finally posted, I will post a picture of the picture we set on social media. Um, I was really excited to announce that we got tons of comments and likes and everyone is super excited for us so um, now everyone knows I don't have to keep it a secret anymore not that I really was keeping a secret like if somebody came up and asked me I would have told them but just to have it out there and like it's really happening that was super exciting to do and have happen and so now the world knows next week I'm very excited I have my next doctor's appointment I will be a day or two shy of 12 weeks. And yeah, I'm excited for that appointment. My mom's gonna come with me. Um, I'm gonna get another ultrasound. So I'll have a new updated picture to show you guys next vlog. And um, hopefully everything is going okay. All of my levels were fine from the blood work that they took. So I assume everything is going fine and we'll find baby again and hear the heartbeat this time. Um, I have been able to find baby on the Doppler, which that was really exciting. It's taken me a while and it's also weird because Grayson was on my right side and this baby is on my left side, so it's just like weird because I have to look in other places. And I had to push really, really hard because the baby's really small, but I was able to find the heartbeat, so I did hear it. Um, I have a little home Doppler I've had since Grayson. And and then we'll obviously be able to hear it at the doctor's appointment. So I'm very excited about that. So tune in for uh, next week for that vlog because I will give you all the details about that. I don't really notice like my nails or my hair growing that much. I know they say like when you're pregnant, it, they grow a lot. I feel like I've been losing a lot of hair. Like when I get in the shower, I feel like I lose a lot, which usually that doesn't happen until like after you have the baby, but maybe I'm just paying more attention to it. I don't know. I think that's kind of it. Um, not much too different, but yeah, mostly it's just like I have a bump now, so I feel more pregnant. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's going to do it for this update for you guys. Um, make sure to subscribe to this channel. You're not going to want to miss my next bump day because I'm going to have a new picture for you guys to see of the baby and all the details from my 12 week ultra um 12 week doctor's appointment and make sure to like this video and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys